Yeah, how's it going today? I guess somebody wanted to know how big of a person could fit in this uh, Samurai uh, Subaru sandbar. Sorry about that. It's a Subaru sandbar, the little mini truck. So I just came out. It's been sitting here for, I don't think I started in two months. It popped right off. So just starting to warm up a little bit. And I was telling you, uh, Sam, you're the one that was asking me how big of a person you could fit in here. And I'm 5'7". I don't have any trouble. Uh, you come in and I'll show you. Let me shut this door. So. But uh, you can see I got plenty of headroom up above. Plenty there. And I was telling you, I think I can put the seat back, Sam. And there's a little bar right here pull that up and you see I can put it back quite a ways so now my head's kind of against this headrest but I still have I don't know how tall you are you didn't mention in your comment how tall you were Sam but I was able to put this back several I like it so that when I put the clutch in my leg is fully extended and right there is good for me, so I'd say if you were geez, six two, might be a little pushing. Well, no, I think you'd be six two and still be all right, Sam. Really, um, I'm going to be up at the uh, Polaris has a show today, and uh, I used to have a Polaris 500 Ranger. And that worked really good, Sam. Uh, I could go probably more places than this. I took it right across a really deep mud hole once, and I think it could swim, really. I, I got all the way across, and uh, the front tire, I had my, my oldest boy with me. He says, you ain't going to go across that, are you, Dad? I said, oh, yeah. And we got about three feet from the other side and that front tire started going down and the water started coming in I was gonna throw it in reverse and I just left it in and I just matted it and it came right up I think it could swim but this one I don't think would go across that but I got it because it's got you know real glass it's got wipers I haven't run this for a while Sam so she got to be cleaned up for sure but uh, it's got heat in it, and uh, one day I was up clearing a trail, and there was all kinds of deer, fl deer flies all around biting you up, and you couldn't, there's so many inside the cab, I couldn't get rid of them. And uh, this one here, all I gotta do is roll these windows up, just like a truck, really. I mean, same way, you just roll the window right up, like that, and it was in the middle of the summer, so, you see that, I got AC in here, I got heat, I got wipers, I got mirrors all around, and uh, the only thing you'll have to, if you ever have a chance to, I got like five or six other, other videos on there, Sam, if you wanna take a look, you gotta have that two inch lift on here and some big tires or else you're gonna have trouble, I think, getting up into some of them places, but one of the other main reasons I like this better is because I don't know if you've seen the uh, Polaris has got a bed that's probably, I'm not kidding you, about that big somewhere out here. And I built a real nice top, uh, cover for it and everything, but and it had a dump body. These you can get a dump body, uh, but you can see I get, a, I get a ton of space out here. I've had a lot of uh, branches and tree limbs and dirt you name it and it it hauls it pretty good it's only a 600 so but uh, another good thing on here is uh you see these right here you take these down this one here that one and the other side and they all fold right down flat so you can put plywood on there and get it up into the, wherever you got to bring it so like i said it uh it may not go everywhere that the uh, Polaris Ranger I had a side-by-side -side 500 and this one I'm pretty sure Sam I can get this registered for uh, 
the Vasa trails. You can see it's not very wide. I think my uh, 500 Polaris, I think, was just as wide as that. The one thing I do, and I did it again today, I always go to the wrong door. Always go to the wrong door because she's a right-hand drive. It's a five-speed. And you can see underneath, you know, the frame is a lot bigger than on a Polaris Ranger. And the suspension, you know, it's, it's made pretty well. So you can uh, make your own decision on that, whatever works for you the best. I don't go, well, I do go to some pretty bad places, but uh, as far as across the swamps and stuff, I don't have to do that. There's always a way around. But I just did it because I like to mess around sometimes. And uh, like I said, I'm going to uh, 4 o'clock this afternoon, Polaris has a uh, uh, semi-truck coming up into uh, St. J Center at the uh, Green Mountain Mall. So if I got time, Sam, I'm going to stop there and get a little video for you. Uh, they got a, uh, what do they call it, a timber sled. And I'm not sure if it's the conversion for a motorcycle with a ski on the front and a track on the back. Those are really cool, but... It looks like it's a little different, so I'm not really sure to expect on that. I uh, hope this answers your questions about, uh, you know, if you'll be able to fit in here or not. Uh, they are a handy truck, and I think you'd probably like it quite a bit. Uh, I'll bring you up over back if you like. I'm going to drop some of this stuff up and off up there, and uh, I'll show you the with a Subaru how easy it is just click that four-wheel drive button right there just boom goes right in four-wheel drive we'll go up over the hill and uh we'll get rid of that stuff um another thing i'd like to say about the subaru versus the uh, suzuki or uh dahatsu or D whatever it is there they've, they've got several uh small mini trucks on the market but uh the main reason i want a subaru is because while subaru is a good rig known for it but the engines in the back so you're less apt to have to run it in four-wheel drive all the time because of the weight in the back you can get a lot of places in just regular two-wheel drive and coming down steep grades on the uh, trails you hit that brake and I've seen these rigs go right over frontward so I didn't want that happening and uh, that's why another reason why I bought a Subaru so we'll take this up and dump this I'm not going to bother to shift it into another gear because i got to go up over here. Hopefully it's pretty icy. Put it in four-wheel drive and well, I don't know. That's too icy. I don't want to get up there and have her come back. That's glare ice right there, Sam. Normally I'd go right up over there any other day, but... I don't know. I don't want to get up there and get hung up. You can see I'd end up down in the bee vines. So I'm going to go up around the other way. I hate to even go across the lawn. And this is going to be shifting patterns just like you're sitting over there. First and second are on this side. Actually, I'm not going to go up across that lawn. I don't really have to go up there and get rid of that stuff because you can see she's pretty soupy, Sam, so I'm not going to go up there today, I guess. Take this out of four-wheel drive, just push that button, and bam, she's out. Them tires are going to give you a little bit of road noise when you get on the main road. But... Uh, They'll carry you up through the woods pretty easy. And it probably gets about uh, at least 40 miles a gallon. I haven't put any gas in here since last year.
and you can see it's got a pretty aggressive tread. Let's see what we did. So it's pretty good tread on there, Sam. That's probably what you want is something that'll dig it up and get you going. There, I got the water all going right out real nice. All right, Sam, I hope that answers your questions. Thanks for leaving a comment, and uh, hope you find what you're looking for, bud. See ya.